Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create clean vocals in Cakewalk. To start a new journey, put a foot on the floor. Take a step, then take some more. On the vocal track header, click on the plus icon in the FX section. Click on audio effects on the pop-up menu. Click on dynamics. Then click on Sonatus Gate. The Sonatus Gate does two things. It removes background noise between the vocals and trims the beginning and end of the vocals, so it makes your vocals much clearer and crisper. Double click on the text box to the right of the word Look Ahead. Type in 2 and press the Enter key on your keyboard. Look Ahead allows the noise gate to know in advance when it will be triggered, so it can trigger more quickly and accurately. Double click on the text box to the right of the word Release. Type in 90 and press the Enter key on your keyboard. Release sets how fast the noise gate stops the sound that is below the threshold from being heard, so it is used to trim the ends of the vocals. Double click on the text box to the right of the word attack. Type in 10 and press the enter key on your keyboard. Attack delays how quickly the noise gate lets the sound above the threshold be heard, so it is used to trim the beginning of the vocals. Double click on the text box to the right of the word hold. Type in 20 and press the enter key on your keyboard. Hold sets the minimum amount of time the noise gate stops the sound for. Double click on the text box below the word threshold. Type in minus 30 and press the enter key on your keyboard. The threshold sets how loud the sound has to be on the track before it can be heard, so no sound that is a lower volume than the threshold can be heard. To start a new journey, put a foot on the floor, take a step, then take some more. If some of the unwanted background noise can still be heard, set the threshold higher by moving the knob on the input slider up the screen. To start a new journey, put a foot on the floor. Take a step, then take some more. But if some of the vocals are missing, set the threshold lower by moving the knob on the input slider down the screen.
to start a new journey. Put a foot on the floor. Take a step. Then take some more. Now click on the X icon to close the noise gate window. You can click on the noise gate again if you want to edit it again. On the vocal track header, click on the plus icon in the FX section. Click on audio effects on the pop-up menu. Click on EQ. Then click on Sonatus Equalizer. Here we will use the graphic EQ to remove any low frequency tones that can make the vocals sound muddy. Click on the drop list arrow of the filter section to the left of 200 Hz. And click on High Pass on the pop up list. This will smoothly remove any unwanted lower frequencies of the vocals. To start a new journey, put a foot on the floor, take a step, then take some more. Now click on the X icon to close the equalizer window. On the vocal track header, click on the plus icon in the effects section. Click on audio effects on the pop-up menu. Click on dynamics. Then click on sonatus compressor. The Sonatus Compressor does two things. It boosts the volume of quieter vocals and reduces the volume of loud vocals. So make sure vocals sound much clearer. Double click on the text box below the word ratio. Type in 10 and press the enter key on your keyboard. Ratio sets how much the loud vocals are reduced by. The higher the number, the more the loud vocals are reduced. Double click on the text box below the word knee. Type in 10 and press the enter key on your keyboard. Knee sets how smoothly the loud vocals are reduced. The higher the number, the smoother the reduction. Double click on the text box to the right of the word attack. Type in 10 and press the enter key on your keyboard. Attack sets the delay before the loud vocals are reduced. Setting this to 10 milliseconds will help the vocals sound sharper. Click on the limiter button so it says on. To stop the loud vocals clipping. Click on TCR so it says on. So release is automatically and dynamically set to the correct timing for your loud vocals. Release sets how quickly the compressor stops loudness reduction. Double click on the text box below the word threshold. Type in minus 18 and press the enter key on your keyboard. Threshold sets the maximum volume level before the compressor starts to reduce the volume of the loud vocals. To start a new journey, Put a foot on the floor. 
Take a step. Then take some more. Now click on the X icon to close the compressor window. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.